Hey guys, what's up? It's Carson from Toxic Gaming, as you know, usual. And this is gonna be, I guess, like, my version of the Strip Down Challenge, I guess. I don't know if exactly if I can make a different version of it or not. But I just watched, finished watching uh, Bex, Baraki's, XY, whatever you want to call her, I know where it's Beck, her video. And it made me really think, what do I have to say? Like, what is... What is me kind of stripped down as you guys can you know kind of tell by the video and what i look like right now i just woke up a few hours ago i don't exactly look the best and the reason i did it now without like showering and doing anything like that is the fact that on really any other video i try to be my best for that video and you guys see me at the best that i can be for that video um whether it's the best mood or the best looking for that day or whatever but I just was watching it and I didn't know exactly what I had to say. Like what what do I have to say towards anything? And I'm sorry if I like look away from the camera a lot or I do this a lot. I just move around a lot because looking at a camera isn't my strong suit. <laughs> That's why like I sit here and I have the video here and I'm looking this way the entire time because just looking at the camera it's some it just kind of doesn't doesn't set right with me for some reason yet. And I try, I do my best with it, but I don't know, it's some something personal that I just can't get over yet. So I apologize for that. <coughs> apologize for your ears too, I try to make that as quiet as I could. <laughs> but I sit here and I watch these videos and it makes me think of really who, like, who I am. And I'm at a point right now where I don't really don't know what I, who I am, I guess. Like, I'm at a point where the most consistent thing that I do in my life, like these last few months especially, has been YouTube. Like, this this is what I do, the like, I, this is what I put the most work into every single day. And I don't have a job anymore, and I'm looking for one still, but <laughs> I don't have one yet. And this is still what I'm able to put into every single day, what I'm doing. And I try to make it the best every single day when I'm actually able to do it. There are days where I just can't do it. And I don't know why that is. It's... It's something, like, that I've had to... It's something that I guess I've had to struggle with since I was little. And I don't want this to come off bad. Like, some people I know have stories of having, like, an, maybe an abusive family. Or having to grow up with only one parent and stuff like that. Well, I, I know I didn't have to. Like, I guess you could say I was one of the lucky ones. Like, I have a mother and father both who love me very much, do their best they can for me whenever I need them there. I have two sisters, both of them very, very accomplished in school, sport, sports and athletic-wise. Um, both very accomplished after school and, you know, in real life. And since I was little, it's been this this fear of failure that I've had to deal with since like literally since I think I was in junior high was when I got my first kind of taste of it and I don't think I don't think my dad I kind of meant to on purpose but as I remember kind of back to it it was something that compared me to my sisters like something I did was compared or to somebody else I don't even know if it was to my sisters or not but it was compared to somebody else and since then I've done a lot of comparing myself to other people and done a lot of like not wanting to fail not wanting to fail for my dad for people I was you know trying to impress for people I was trying to show that I was worth something anything along those lines and like I've, I've just had struggles trying to feel what that is what I'm really supposed to be I've had struggles feeling like what or even just feeling in general like, I don't get mad a whole lot of the time. Most of the times I get mad or, like, sarcasm mad or, you know, mad to get a reaction at somebody else. But I'm rarely ever really mad. And I'm rarely ever, like, really happy, too, on the same front. Um, I know the happiest thing that it really has made me in these last few months has been YouTube. Has been you guys watching any of the videos. Literally watching any of the videos. Not even the liking. The liking to me is more than enough anything like that just the fact that people are even entertained by what i'm watching or even watch 
quick to video or whatever makes me somewhat happy. And I say somewhat because I don't know exactly how to quantify that feeling. Um, it's something I've struggled with since I was little, as I said. And I never knew, I can, you can never really understand, I guess, what other people's definition of happiness, like what they feel compared to what you feel. And I don't know, I know, I know like one time I had actually a really true feeling of sadness was when I was a sophomore in high school. And I, uh, it was around the time where I had my first like real, real life girlfriend thing. And we broke up because really, as I remember it pretty much, it was just a bad, bad breakup, bad relationship in general. And I had also not performed as well for wrestling as I really wanted to as kind of I think how my dad expected me to didn't really say much about it he didn't really say much about it but I kind of got that feeling that I wasn't going to a level that was necessary to be considered really a success and it got me to a point in my life where I don't believe I'm ever going to get back to that point and I don't ever really want to I hope I don't ever get back to that point and I've been close a few times, but never have gone that low yet, or yet again. And uh, after watching Beck's video, if you watch that, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, she had an incident in her life that I really, really connected with. And it was the point... <sighs> I, thought I, would, I thought when I started this video I'd be somewhat comfortable in talking about it, but I guess not. And the most I've, I guess I can really feel comfortably saying is that I had thoughts and actions, kind of, I guess, that made me know, wonder, like, what would it be like if I wasn't around my family? Like, what if I was somewhere else? You know, like, anywhere else. I could, you know, down the street, anywhere like that, or, you know, anywhere else. But... I had those thoughts, I guess you could say I even had like some half-assed actions, and I'm really glad I didn't go through with any of it, like I'm very extremely happy for that, that's another thing is I've actually really been happy that I haven't done it, but the only thing that kept me going, I remember, as I remember, was a competitive nature that I had. I kind of finally realized to myself that I need to not be worried about what other people are doing and how to compare myself to others, but be the best that I can be every day. Like, that's what I really need to try to do. And throughout, through the rest of high school, that seemed to really pay off. I was one of the best singers for any... I was the best singer than any other guy in my class and one of the best in the entire school. And I was decent at athletics. I was good enough to be, you know, considered good at athletics, but wasn't amazing, I wasn't All-American or anything like that, or I wouldn't be here, probably, <laughs> but it was just things that I didn't know, like, I didn't know how else to deal with some things besides just compete to be better, like, I, I was, that's constant, get better every single day, don't, don't plateau, don't plateau out, and now with YouTube, it's that mindset of, it's okay if like you're the same sub count every day or you have the same basic views every day. It's okay. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's a very it's a lot slower growth than what I was used to. Than what I was really trying to be and it's it's hard. It really is and I want I do want some instant gratification with it. And I don't mean like wanting wanting instant subs, watching wanting instant views. I just want people to be entertained and I want that feedback. I want to know that I can actually make other people f have feelings for any video that I do, whether it be really happy, sad, or angry, or anything, anything, learning anything, I guess. And that's what I really want to do. Like, I could care less what my sub count is. Yes, a thousand would be better than, you know, one or two, but still, those one or two that maybe would be subbed or entertained, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that. But I still want to grow better as a person and things along those lines. But I, I'm afraid of what to do next. Like I'm afraid of what to branch out to. 
And one one little thing of that is I've had uh, Amnesia downloaded on my computer when it was like free on Steam. I've had it downloaded for a few months now. And I've wanted to play it. I just don't know how it would be received. I don't know how what would happen. I don't know these things, and it keeps me back from doing that. This, like, it's almost like a fear of the unknown, and if I step into it, I might fall and fail. It's that fear that I'm keeps me from doing things in sometimes my day-to-day life. And a lot of things in my day-to-day life. Keeps me in my own apartment for days and days. Like, I know I haven't... <laughs> little fourth wall thing. I've not gone out and actually seen anybody probably since my birthday. Or... I guess you could say I've gone out with my sister when she was here. We went out and, you know, ate dinner and stuff like that, but that was last week. But when it was my birthday, that was the last time I actually went out and I've, saw, I've like, seen my friends. I just I keep myself here because I, I don't know if they want me around. I don't know if I'm, quote-unquote, allowed to be around and things. I don't know if I'm supposed to be there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. It's that fear of unknown that keeps me from doing anything. And I want to break through it, and I don't know how. Like, I don't know how to do it. And I've talked about this to a few people. A few people in real life and a few people, uh, fewer, I guess you could say, on the internet. And, you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. And the name, or the word, I guess, the label of depression keeps coming around. And I don't know if that's really what it is. Because, again, me not knowing, I guess, from young days of not knowing exactly what feelings are... I don't know if that's I don't know if that's so low to where I'm at. I don't know if that's what I'm feeling cuz the days when I don't do a whole lot it's I'm just not doing anything. I don't really I guess feel sad. I just don't feel like doing anything that day. The days when I feel great, I you know, I'm showered, I get videos done, I wash the dishes, I make food, but I don't go out and do a whole lot. So, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what I'm supposed to really do about it. <laughs> I'm just in a point in my life where I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I'm trying to take each day as it is. The most consistent thing I've had is YouTube because I can really I can actually kind of put myself in a good mood good enough mood to make a video or two, to keep recording, to do things like that. And I've branched off to streaming to try to force myself to even do it in a not that good of a mood. Like that's what I've tried to branch out to, but as you guys know it's probably been it's been an iffy road from that. And I don't know what to do. I really don't. But I wanted to make I wanted to make this video because I've seen other people have things to say. I didn't know what I would have to say, and I really don't even remember exactly what I said in this video. There's things that like, I I may say something, and ten minutes later I don't know what that I don't remember it, and I don't know if that's exactly a problem or not. But I might look back at the video. I can't really edit anything. That's the whole thing with this video that it's unedited. Or as much as you can on edit it and things along that line so you guys are going to see it as raw as it can be so yeah there's that <laughs> but i think with all that i think i'm actually i'm gonna get up on out of here i don't know if there's much i really can say left i feel i do feel kind of better for saying it but i don't know ex- like i don't know exactly how much better that is <laughs> going all back to that but i think i'm gonna let you guys go so if you If you feel like you need something to say, or there's something that you need to get out, there's things like that, make one of these, because it does seem to help me at least a little bit, and I would love to see it help you guys too. So, with all that, I'm going to leave, so see you guys. (laughs) Phone always goes off. Wouldn't be a video if my phone didn't go off. I'll see you guys.